Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have a kind of a follow-up tutorial for my previous one on the search module and the search results page. And I want to show you how you can do that with custom post types. Maybe you're using my custom post type generator over on our site and you know you have some custom post types on your site and you want when someone comes to that page you want them to be able to search for just that you know you don't want them typing in a search and it's just pulling up your pages and blog posts you want them to search for that post type and you can do that with a third-party plugin it's made by a friend of mine and in fact I've just talked to him this week and it's all up to date and it works with the current version of Divi and all of that so I'm going to show you how to do that with a custom post type and the search module and the search results page. So you may have seen our other tutorial on the search module. Basically we were kind of hacking it up and making it much more, um, well, a lot more pretty, put it that way, but also more usable. And then we showed you how to make a search results page. So that other tutorial was, well, it's using the default Divi search module. So it's kind of limited. It's only limited to pages and posts. So um, it's great otherwise, and in fact, you should reference it. Um, down here in this tutorial where I show you like the CSS and stuff, um, you're gonna wanna come back to that and I'll explain that in just a minute. So for today though, we are going to be making a search bar that works for any custom post type. So maybe you've used our custom post type generator I know that's really popular. It's kind of a unique Divi resource there that we've provided on our website. Um, so you could find that by going to our website and then under Divi, you could see the generator right there and you'll come here. But if you use that and you have custom post types on your website and you want to search for something and um, you can't do it with the regular search module. So we are using a plugin it's a third-party plugin it's free it's in the wordpress repository it's called post type search module for divi and um, this is actually made by a friend of mine jerry simmons so it's it's a great plugin he's a really great guy he's a really smart divi developer so let's go check that out so basically you need to install this so it's called post type search module for divi and it it actually very very similar to the default search module all right i'm gonna i'm gonna actually walk you through it i have that installed on my demo right here so go ahead and install that activate it um, and then you know what's going to happen this is my this is actually from the last tutorial where this is just the search module i'll just show you that real quick see how it just says search so but then i want to add this new one um and it's remember what it was called so it's called for post type so post type search it's right there all right so i'm going to add that and it behaves and everything looks almost exactly the same i mean remember from our other tutorial how you know we think this is so boring and ugly um but we get these extra features so look here um it says include post types um and you can choose here with check marks so whichever one you know probably just want it to be one or more whatever and then you can isolate it so if you have a page like i did some tutorials like with my custom post type generator on a custom post type called cats so if i wanted to search my cats i could have a page and have this search bar there and then when someone searches it won't bring up um the, the results will be specific to cats it won't be pulling in stuff from my blog posts and from my pages and projects and all that stuff because that would be really annoying if someone's coming to your site and looking for something um and they're searching and you they're typing in like if they're looking for a breed of cat and they find some other page that just so happened to match a keyword that would be really annoying not a good user experience so by selecting this and isolating it you can just well basically dramatically improve the user experience and there's a really cool thing here so yeah this the post over on our blog which is linked in the video here um, it's it's just going over what I just talked about and as far as styling it I, the styling is exactly the same so um, if you're using that 
you know, third party module here. Um, you can make it look like this one and it has all the same settings and you can even go in here to the custom CSS, see here, input field and button. So definitely reference our other tutorial. It's exactly the same. You can style this the same and then you'll end up at uh, the only thing different is these settings here. So that's, I just think that's so cool that we can do this. All right. So how are these results displayed? And that's, I kind of did that in the other one too, but you're basically going into the Divi theme builder and making a template. And here's the thing. I first thought that I needed to have a separate search results template like this one here for all the different post types, but that's not right because I can just make one. So if I go over here to the Divi theme builder in my demo, I'll show you what I mean. So here I have a search results template and I just have it assigned. You know, you, you can assign it here to the template search results, right? And like I said, I thought I had to have like search results for cats, search results for pages, but no. If I go in here, I'll show you what I did. So all you do is add a blog module, okay? A blog module. And then when you turn this little toggle on, see how, like when you first add the blog module, you might think, oh, I gotta, uh, make this, you know, uh, set this for, for cats for my post type, right? And sure, it, depending on what you're doing, if you're using categories or whatever, that may apply. Like right now, it's just literally just showing my custom post types, which is how you display custom post types if that's in my other posts. Okay, so we don't need to do this. In fact, this here, post for current page, that's dynamic. So if I was back here in my search module, in this, you know, this third party search module, and I have this one set to cats, and someone types in, you know, something like, I don't know, this type of breed of cat or whatever, and then I have this turned on, it's, it's, it's basically just taking the current page. So when you think current page, think of like a dynamic Results. So, like if I had this set to cats, it'll only show cats because that's that's the current page. And see how it removed the option to even choose your post type. So that's great. I could go back here and I could add, I could just add a whole bunch of these modules. I could add a different one and say, okay, I want this one to be for my projects. I want to be able to search my portfolio. And you know what? If I search for that, I would only see those results. And if I search for just cats in this one, I would only see cat results here. So that's so cool. This is like so awesome how easy that is. And I hope I'm explaining that correctly. In fact, we may as well test this out. Let's get out of here and make sure you're saving your name builder template. Might have to click the green save changes here. Okay, so I have the two modules here. In fact, I'm gonna label them just so I know, so it's really obvious for you as well. So what I'll do, I'll go into um, the one that's set to projects and I'll just say, like the placeholder text, I could just say something like search for, or search, search our projects, that might work. Okay, and then that way when I'm actually doing it in my demo, I'll know what we're looking for. So search cats, <laughs> let's just do that. Okay, so now let's test this out. All right, so I'm not even sure what I should search for because I don't really have, this is a demo site. Um, I'm not sure what I have set up in here. So let's just try something. I think I have an excerpt that has that word in it. So here it's actually pulling, yeah. See, I had that word um, project in my, so it's pulling that up in my excerpt there. So look, it pulled up actually all of my projects on this demo site um, in the search results. All right, let's go back and I'll do the one for cats. Okay, so I don't know. I don't remember what keywords I had in there, but um, I guess just cat would be fine. Okay, so it pulls up my cats. Um, and just to, just to prove it, you might think, well, I'm using the words cat, so that's why it's doing it. Let's, I'll prove it. Let's, let's type in Divi because I have a bunch of tutorials on this site, like as pages, so let's see. See, there's no results, because you know what I mean? It's isolating it to cats, 
Now, if I would change that to pages, okay, so just as for this example, if I would change this one, I want the search results to apply to pages. So search pages, that's add that label. All right, and like I said, I have the word Divi on a whole bunch of pages. So if I type in Divi now and search, see, I got a whole bunch of pages coming up, okay? These are all pages on my site. So there you go, that is so cool. How you can basically have that one template and yet be specific to the post type that you want this to work for. And just to prove it here, if I would look for cats, there's nothing found because I don't have anything about cats on my pages. That's all that custom post type. All right, so another way that you could use this is actually like in our plugin, the Divi events calendar. So right now, you know, it's just a my list of events and I would never included a search feature in the plugin because why would I when you don't need it in the plugin so over here I have a page for search and it's the exact same thing all I did was set up you know this search module to be for events and then if I search it's going to get, it's only going to show me results for my um, the items that relate to events okay so it's only going to pull up you know events in my results and that's great because if if you have your you know your site created here using our plugin and you're making you know you have all these events and someone's coming and they just want to search for you know music right they only want the ones that relate to music or i don't know you know what i mean a race something like that well then having that search is just gonna improve the user experience. So hopefully that is a good example of how you can use that. In fact, let's just type in race. because I think there's a couple with that. Yeah, and see here, um, there's these that have something to do with race, see that? And so I have a template that's designed like this. So you can, you can go really nice styled search results page. This is a theme builder template, okay? And that's an example of what you can do with this tutorial. And I think, you know, the key here is that ability to use the current page and just have those results be dynamic. And you can set up other things like an archive page title that's using dynamic content. So, you know, add a text module and then use dynamic content to pull in the title. It's just so cool what you can do. And I'm excited. If you have questions, you know, let me know in the comments. But hopefully if I've explained this enough. And, and like I said, be sure to check out this other tutorial. I think I have it linked, yeah, right here. So, you know, like I said, you can use this one to style it the exact same way. So don't worry about that. They're cross compatible with the Divi search module and this post type search module. All right, so there you go. Now you can have your visitors search for any custom post type or any post type on your website and they can find exactly what they're looking for and you can kind of pick and choose there what you want them to find what you want to be displayed and isn't it great that we can just do that right there in the divi builder like that so and you may have noticed we talked about the theme builder now i am releasing a course on the theme builder it's a small course it's going to be very very affordable um, it's, i want it to be an intro because i want people to be using the theme builder because look how amazing it is so um, that's not quite done. It's, it's very, very, very close to being done. Um, but, um, and this is June, 2020 when I'm talking right now. So more than likely when you're seeing this video, it will be done. So I'll link that down below as well. If you're interested in learning the theme builder. All right. Well, we'll see you guys in the next video.